Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> and I actually think, Efra, you're about to be even happier in the inside. Because we get... EXO, dog! EXO! That means We do not have a Christmas special without EXO. They are literally the kings of Christmas ballads. It seems they are. like The winter ballads. That's what they call them. They're, winter they're albums. Winter season. Ah, uh, I... Can we have them back? No. Assuming it's back, yes. Dio will be coming back. In January. So that who, who's left then? So then Chen Beckian, has just gone, hasn't he? Yes. Oh, but Suho Beckian, has just gone as well. Su Suho has just gone. Didn't he? Before he dropped his... Uh... Oh yeah, I think it did. You so not right. just gone, he's been out for a while. Yeah, no, I think you're Lay right. Lei is probably still in China. Yes, but then the the next ones to... The next lined up to go will be Chaniel and Beckian. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, See, we're never getting him back. <laughs> and then, and then I guess it would be Kai and Sehan, because they are like the youngest. Blows. I mean, serve your country, good for them. But it's like, oh god, we're never gonna get albums again. To be again. fair, though, this has been because it makes SM sort of think outside of the box, right? So Kai debut solo, Becky Young solo again, uh, Lay like amazing work, bro. Yes, incredible. So, work. so now zooming. Solo, probably. Dio. Dio, probably solo. Solo, right? He, 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 <laughs> he just got to have it. Like he's got to. Petition for a petition. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, anyways. The Christmas Day in Japan. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Look at that place. I thought they were shirtless for a second. <laughs> oh, it went pink. Look at the Mr. Mm -hmm. look, at, look, look at Efra being a fanboy. Again. <laughs> I love him. I freaking adore that man. That guy's so clean. It's brilliant. I just think, yeah, it's just difficult, isn't it? Because, like, that's, like, exactly what we like. Like, it's tailor-made. Not only, like, I feel they're tailor-made for winter R&B, for love R&B, for slow R&B, commercial R&B. I yeah. just think R&B suits them so well. And acoustic stuff. They're, yes. Like, uh, what do you call it? Goats, at it, in my opinion. Um, but... They're also tailor-made for us, like, in terms of what we like for, like, winter stuff. It's so perfect, think, man. I, I think they just won our, heart, our hearts over with their acoustic medleys and stuff. And I, since then, uh, you know, we have nothing but appreciation and high regards and admiration for those guys. Because what they have managed to to do in, in their careers is beyond outstanding, you know. It's, it, it's freaking unbelievable. It's probably, you know, it's probably obvious for you guys like the groups we enjoy the most are the ones that are the best at performing live that's right and that offer world class levels of performance live mm -hmm. because i feel that i it's feel so like it's difficult I, to achieve i i want to watch them live i, I want to uh, uh, buy tickets and I, and i want to know also that the product i'm listening to at home it's going to be better all the same when it's live yeah and you know example exhibit a you know we had ex plenty of exhibits today, actually. Um, but Exhibit A, it, it's it's them because to do what they do acoustically and then to do the numbers they do R&B-wise, it's so tough. And it, then tasteful, tasteful choreo. It's fantastic. They don't I mean, always sing anything. Oh, they, don't, they don't over dance anything. The performances are just right. The simplicity of it makes it so bright. And, and, and it's, you know, it's... Is entirely is is fantastic, fantastically made. Yeah, great, great directions. Go, oh, Chaniel. Yes, Kai, Kai. Mister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Zuman. Hey. Oh hell That's yeah! That's so talented, bro. <laughs> Hey, friend. How do they manage Class. to have? How do they manage to have such stable vocals as they're walking around? And because I actually look think at Chen, Chen was sweating buckets. So you know the previous numbers. Definitely must have Kai been like was crazy. Kai was sweating, looking like a Dunkin' Donut. That's right. Th you know, that's right. Like a freshly baked Dunkin' Donut, like so shiny, freshly, freshly glazed. Glazed, yeah, yeah, like a yeah, glazed yeah, yeah. donut. You know, but they still maintain that sort of control. Their stability in the singing is, is crazy. Is that that um, we were looking at Conor McGregor's uh, photo because he's looking 
fucking ripped lately because he's, he's about to fight in January. And you noticed his abdo- what did you say? abdominal, abdominal wall. wall. Is that what that causes? Uh, actually, having ab- an abdominal wall that, that strong, strong is, detrimental. is so bad oh, for right. your singing. So how do you develop that then? Is it just endurance or cardiovascular? Uh, uh, is cardiovascular uh, resistance. Yeah, so... Uh, cardiovascular uh, endurance. Endurance, that's what yeah. I meant. Uh, so it's just cardio training. So, mm. you know... Running and singing at the same time, running. Oh, hello. There we go. Running, running, and and talking at the same time. And then efficiency, sort of any, you know, energy, energy. Exactly. Efficiency. Like, I also believe that when you're learning a new choreo, you also find tricks like in the in the choreography that help you um, manage your breathing. So. And obviously, these choreos are tailor made for their of course, of course. needs and 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 uh, to enhance the performance overall, singing and uh, uh, dancing. So you know they're very well thought through choreo choreos.